That's Joseph P. as in Patrick Mellon. And my rank was Yeoman Third Class. I went on board the Tullaby, which is a nuclear boat. I went on the Nautilus, nuclear first nuclear boat. And I went on the Silver Sides, one of the highest decorated submarines from World War II. And at that time, I, I obtained many, many photographs, which your organization now has, because I, I donated them about three or four years ago, all of them. And from there, I, I believe it was in the latter part of July, latter part of July of 1963, I received orders to report to Newport aboard the USS Kepler. I remember the Silver Sides. And the only thing I understand that's left of her now is her conning tower. They scrapped the submarine. I watched her being towed down the river. And uh, they took her to maybe Philadelphia. And they, uh, they cut up the hull, but they did save the, uh, the uh, conning tower. So that's all I know that exists of that. Uh, like I said before, I was on the Tullaby, which was, I believe, a fast attack submarine. And uh, I went on board the Nautilus. Uh, that's one, you went on that, that boat and you were literally patted down on the quarter deck and then you were taken down, but I was there again, I had to leave my camera on the quarter deck. <laughs> no, no, it's a no, no. So I did that and uh, I was taken from bow to stern on that boat and even through the reactor room and they actually opened up the hatch on the deck because it looked, it was just like a, a blue light you could see, but when they opened this hatch up it was like a brilliant white light. And, went, and you actually almost feel the heat coming out of the reactor room or out of the reactor apartment. But that was that was something. I enjoyed that. That was like now, of course, she's up there as a memorial ship, and not the same thing though. You know, she was a, a live, active ship with uh, men. You know, but that's what I did there. Uh, I enjoyed New London. Uh, I met some nice people there. Went to the theater. Uh, that's where I got hurt. Just because something just happened in February of '63. 60, uh, 63 as it was. I was getting out of a car and I slipped on the ice and the door slammed on my thumb and crushed my thumb, which I still have a problem. Um, I went to see uh, The Longest Day and I'm sitting there and it was cold February day, winter, very, very cold. And I'm sitting there, I was afraid to take my gloves off and I guess about a quarter of the way through the movie I had to go back to the base because the pain was just too much. And I went to the base hospital and got a hold of the corpsman. And he said, oh, we can take care of this. And I remember he said, just put your thumb on the table. He, he cut, the, cut the thumb off, you know, the glove off my thumb. And there was my finger slightly flat. Uh, I had cut it. I got it right just before with the knuckle. If I had gone another quarter inch, I would have lost the end of my thumb. Because I slammed the door solid. I actually fell against the door. And he took this Bunsen burner out and a paper clip made it white hot and put it through my nail and the blood just shot up about that high and the pain went away. So he splinted my thumb and I went, I went to bed that night with this throbbing and the next day I went into my, the office at the chaplain's office and they looked at me and I got this big cast on my thumb and I'm supposed to be typing. <laughs> Needless to say it wasn't easy. But no, they, they were okay. They kind of said, just you know, do paperwork and keep the thumb out of trouble. But that uh, that lasted for maybe a month or so, and uh, it, it came back. You know, it lets me know once in a while I was unhappy. But that was my thing. I, and from there, I I believe it was in the latter part of July, latter part of July, uh, 1963. I received orders to report to Newport aboard the USS Kepler.